Hey, hey, it's Berta J. And you're back in my kitchen with me today to make what I'm calling simply Berta's guacamole. Now we could add some words to it, but you see what you think. You start with one avocado. I've already mashed it. Put it in a bowl, okay? And then you're just gonna start adding all these vegetables. I decided I wanted to put more in it than the regular guacamole, so here goes. Put in a quarter of a cup of shredded carrot. Get it all. A quarter of a cup of chopped onion. I used white, you could use red. And remember, you don't have to put it in, into your bowl in the same order that I do, as long as all the vegetables get in there. A quarter of a cup of tomatoes. I use cherry tomatoes. You could use whatever kind you like. Two tablespoons of red pepper. I like red pepper, but if you like green or yellow or orange, put that in. And then this may be a little different for you. An eighth of a cup of minced celery. Keep in mind, if I'm putting anything in here that you don't like, just leave it out. And this is my secret ingredient if you want to put it in. This is white balsamic. I use two tablespoons. The spices are salt and pepper, an eighth of a teaspoon each. Now add a pinch of paprika, an eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder, and a pinch of garlic powder. Coming down the home stretch, this is all you have to do, is mix it up. Make sure you get it mixed well. Get everything incorporated, and then you're done. I have used this guacamole as a base for a sandwich, and then you build from there. You could add uh, your greens, lettuce, and you could add tomato, more tomato if you want more uh, shredded carrot, but I just use a couple slices of bread, lots of greens, and put this on it, on both sides of the bread. But here, I'm gonna take a piece of whole grain toast, which is Ezekiel bread, and you just put a little bit on. Mm. This is really good. I like this combination of vegetables with the avocado. It's very tasty, and I hope you enjoy it, and we'll try it or you could put it on a cracker, like this. I don't know, I hope you really like this. I really enjoy it. I put in the, the two tablespoons of the white balsamic. If you don't like vinegar and you don't wanna put it in, you don't have to. But all the crunch of the vegetables is really nice. There's a good mix in there and you'll be getting a good fat along with a lot of veggies. That is the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell so that you will get the notification of a new video being uploaded. And don't forget to leave me some comments below. And don't forget to try the recipe and let me know what you think, okay? Don't forget to smile. This is still the smile year, okay? The year of the smile, 2023. Bye for now.